Hello, welcome to Table Talk Feed. A lot has been said about Reverend Kathy Kuna, a whole lot, but how well do you really know her? Kathy is the co-founder of the Jubilee Christian Church that started in 1999 with hubby Apostle Alan Kuna. Here are some things about Reverend Kathy that may interest you. Watu hutoka mbali. Kathy's vocational training was as a secretary. I can bet you that her typing and shorthand skills are super impressive. Before getting her calling to be a reverend, Kathy worked as a secretary and had attended the Queensway Secretarial College for her diploma. Kathy is the proverbial mama bear. She is the mother of Vanessa, Stephanie and Jeremy. Don't mess with her little cubs if you don't want to get mauled. Evidence of this was seen during her daughter's wedding where she took control of organizing it. Where? Haungi nge uko bila invite. Married to Alan Kuna, she wears the Mrs. Alan Kuna name tag with pride. You should read the little sweet messages they leave each other on social media. I bet you didn't know that Kathy Kuna can belt out tunes. Well, she has recorded a number of singles to her name like Mapambo, Thank You and Arise. Kwanza if you're a bedside Baptist type of Christian, the kind that watches Sunday morning TV sermons as a substitute for going to church, you have seen her take the lead during praise and worship sessions during the broadcast of church services. Hakuna mtu anapenda Jesus kama Kathy. Her testimony has been told and retold. She is currently the associate pastor at the GCC and the brains behind Daughters of Zion Ministry. When she hits the pulpit, the devil trembles. Don't mess with her. She knows the word inside and out. As a zealous Christian, she ignores all those stories about not wanting poor people in her church and welcomes all to come worship and be part of the holy flock. Nothing brings her down. Her focus is on God. Kadikuna has embraced her first grandchild with so much enthusiasm. However, you should all note that she doesn't refer to herself as grandma, but glamour. Mzee ni wewe. Kathy has flooded her timeline with photos of her granddaughter, Nia Giselle Kiona Kovac, for all to see. The dotting glamour has taken each and every available opportunity to show her off on social media platforms. Kathy lives her life the way she pleases. Everything she does spells extravagance with a capital E. From how she dresses, to her makeup, to her shoes, the car she drives, and above all, her jet-setting ways. You just need to check her social media pages to see where she has traveled to. Kathy believes that she is enjoying the blessing of God. After all, there was a time she went without a roof over her head to living in a mansion in Rwanda. Extravagance is her middle name and she is an apologetic. Deal with it. Golfing is said to be a reserve for the rich and mighty. At golf courses, serious deals have been brokered. But for Kathy, what has it that she is hooked to golfing whenever she is free? It is believed that she is also a very good golfer. Kenyans on Twitter were miffed when they saw a photo of Kathy and Alan Kuna in a golf course in Pretoria, South Africa. The post that went viral saw Kenyans point fingers at the couple, accusing them of living extravagantly when their flock can barely afford a vacation within the Kenyan borders. Kathy has penned books from her experience as a motivational speaker and personality. Her experiences as a servant of Christ are detailed in the books. The books also use the gospel to encourage and uplift readers. Some of her recent releases include Marriage Works and Transformed Woman. Sadly, that's the end of today's video. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on the comment section down below. Subscribe to this channel for more local celebrity news and turn on the notification so you don't miss any updates. See you on the next video.